Hey, good morning. This is JB with Moss Products and Biosol, our latest product, and it's an acetone replacement. And what we're going to talk about today is graffiti removal. It gets used for preparing surfaces for paint or pre-paint or if we're doing fiberglass work or cleaning fiberglass tools. But today we want to talk about it as a graffiti remover. We're going to see how it works. So we've got plenty of graffiti around us today. We're here in Morristown, New Jersey. And we're at a public park where the kids don't have as much respect for the park as we do. So we're going to see if we can clean it up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm spraying just a little bit of biosol on this. And it starts to break it up immediately. And just so we don't end up with a shadow, I'm going to take a little brush. And brush until it's gone. And that's the graffiti remover. Okay, now well, what we did was we sprayed some material on. It broke up the graffiti. We took a, a bristle brush and we brushed it out. Now you can tell that this is latex paint because it started to soften a little bit, which is fine because now what we're going to do is spray it with just a little bit of water and neutralize it. The material that we're, that we're using here, Biosolve, is basically a ethyl lactate, which comes from corn. And ethyl lactate works as a great solvent. It's a perfect acetone replacement. Acetone, toluene, xylene. Its ability to clean is seven times that of acetone or toluene. Eh, we'll go with five times just to be on the safe side, but we know it's strong. And when it hits this material, it immediately starts to take it off the wall. But because this graffiti is on some latex paint, which is porous, it gets into the paint a little bit. So that's why we got to do a little bit of scrubbing. If this was stainless steel or um, a hardened plastic or if it was uh, powder coated, it wouldn't have absorbed into the paint like that. We wouldn't have to go through this process. But spraying it with water, water neutralizes it. Biosolve is 100% water soluble and it gets neutralized by the water, turns it to lactic acid. So it's safe for the environment. It's 100% biodegradable. It's not going to cause cancer. There's no hazardous air pollutants. There's no toxic air pollutants. And it's not a hazmat. And it's not flammable for shipping purposes. So DOT determines it is not a flammable product. So as you can see, it took this right off of here. We've run out of a little bit of material in our sprayer. We're going to take one of our bottles here. And they come with a sealed foil cap on them. And I'm just going to take a key, and I'm going to just poke a hole in that, not take the whole thing off. And that makes it easy for me to refill or not use overuse it. As I said before, Biosolve is much, much stronger than acetone and toluene, and so we don't have to use as much. So this quart will go as long as oh two three gallons of acetone well now we're going to try the biosolve on this paint we know this is a painted surface it was spray painted on here so let's try this I'll spray some on let it start to work now remember this is made from corn so it's basically the same materials that get used to make ethanol. And off it comes. Now this is spray paint. I'm going to guess this is some like a Krylon Rust-Oleum or something like that. But it'll take it off. Okay. So now, we're out here on the playground, and we've got this pretty cool slide here that people worked hard to put together for the township. And these kids, you know, they're having fun, but they've defaced it. And Nick, we now know, wants Rachel. And uh, we're not sure who Nick is or who Rachel is, but unfortunately we're going to destroy their love interest here with a little bit of Biosolve. So, I got my sprayer. Spray a little bit on there.
Nick and Rachel are almost done with their relationship. So now we're using that same wipe inside on this red graffiti here, and off it comes. The little ones, the tykes don't have to be exposed to that nastiness anymore. All gone. Hey guys, it's JB with Biosolve again. <clears throat> what we're going to do today is, we're at Cinnamons and Parks and Recreation, and these kids are having fun. They're out here doing what they need to do, and we're going to take it off for them. So, we're going to start with the Biosolve, our acetone replacement, and we'll start with a little spray. And as you can see, somebody tried to get some of this off before. We'll see if this will do it. This is wet, so we don't know. Uh, it's a tough one, but it's going to come. Yeah. All right. This is going to come off here. It's just going to take a second. Look at that. Saving the sign, saving the environment. Biosolve. 